Hi guys, I am back with the Toyota GR Yaris. Now after the short but sweet first impressions at Millbrook Proving Ground, I have managed to get my hands on one for a week loan. I mean, I really get to find out the five things that I love and hate about the Toyota GR Yaris. Starting off with the things we love, and number one, it's got to be the looks of the GR Yaris. I mean, compared to the standard Yaris, it's had some major, major upgrades, and it looks a lot more aggressive. Compared to the standard Yaris, the GR means business, with a lowered roofline and styling to optimise aerodynamic performance, all thanks to the design consultation of Toyota Gazoo Racing. Now, this one features a carbon fibre roof and some great attention to detail. And as well, the rear is absolutely massive, especially when you park it next to a normal car. Number two is going to be handling, and it's what the GR Yaris is just renowned for, the fun of the drive. Now, I was very lucky to have a go in one of these at Millbrook Proving Ground on the hill route, where I could absolutely test just how good the handling was. And it turned out a little bit like this. It's just so happy being pushed. That is insane. Even down to daily driving, you can take a corner with a good amount of speed. You're not having to overslow the car and you can still have a lot of fun. Granted, on British roads, they are a bit bumpy. There's speed limits, speed cameras. So you're never ever gonna maximize the most out of the car. However, because it is lower powered than a lot of performance cars, you can rag it around like a little go-kart and it just feels fantastic. The fact it comes from Rally Heritage, it just shows it's in its blood or in its fuel, I guess. No, don't know if that makes sense. In its oil? Number three has got to be this interior. I mean, the bucket seats alone are my favourite thing about this car. But you've also got the reminder that your energy are everywhere, including the nice little plaque in your centre console. You even get a nice little handy shelf, Apple CarPlay, amazing heads-up display. It literally has everything you need. Number four, of course, the fact it's a six-speed manual, I mean, any performance driver-focused car has to be manual. It's like an unwritten rule. And the manual in the GR Yaris is fantastic. I mean, it's easy to use, the clutch is just super simple, and it even has rev matching. So if you are going for a little bit more of a spirited drive and you have smaller feet like me where Rev matching isn't always the easiest on a day to day basis. The Yaris has you covered. The manual is just always going to be driver focused, it's going to be engaging, which just makes the whole experience of driving the Yaris so much more fun. That mixed with number two, which was the handling, it's an incredible recipe for just putting a smile on your face on the road, on a hill route, or on a track. Number five is the fact that although it's a performance car, it's still pretty practical. Now we have a 174 litre boot, which doesn't sound like much, but for day-to-day -day living, things like your shopping or one reasonably tight squeezed in human, it's pretty impressive. You even get two rather generous rear seats. Although if you're two adults, you might be a little bit squished. Oh my God, it's not the easiest to get out of though. And in your normal sports cars like mine, where I'm absolutely panicking every time there's a speed bump, there's no need in the Yaris because the ground clearance is really generous, which means speed bumps are no longer a problem. But to keep this review firm but fair, what are the five things I don't like about the Toyota GR Yaris quite so much? Number one, the other day I was driving along and I had to press my horn at someone and I've never been more embarrassed. Listen to this. Really? You couldn't get a two-tone horn? Number two is going to be the rear visibility. The rear window is actually quite small, meaning when you try to look out your rear, you can't really see a lot. Number three is going to be something really minor, but it's something that really annoys me in many different cars. It's the fact that the volume up and your next button for your music is on opposite sides of the steering wheel, so you have to chop and change between them. Number four is, again, something really minor, but there's no centre armrest. 
So when you're driving around and you want to just chill, you end up with your arm on your lap or just, I don't really know what to do with it. And number five of the reasons I hate the Toyota GR Yaris is I want one. And I can see why so many different people, including massive YouTubers like Matt Watson, have driven these and then gone out and bought one. So Toyota, you have absolutely nailed it with the GR Yaris. But there we have it, guys. You all know the drill. To make my journey your journey, like, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.